right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. I said, all's fair in love and war. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Okay. First, let's change his clothes. Um, well, let's just go in order. Shoot straighter with those guns. Okay. Oh, also, I changed, um, this is audio, because I, because I was editing the first couple of videos, and I think this music was a bit too loud. Uh, it's, uh, the effects, also the gunfire was pretty sharp, but that should be, dialogue should be maxed out. So hopefully this sounds better. And it sounds better, but less editing afterwards for me, so. Okay, so like most likely the gap between this video and the previous is only like a couple of days, but it's actually been like a month since the last time I played. So I might be a little rusty. Um. Why are they honking at me? They're not honking at me. Ray's Cafe. Oops. It's nighttime. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered it. I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. Slow down! <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male, name of Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, name of Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Hey, those guys have matching hats. What's up, Doc? Body. Poor guy didn't stand a chance. Landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind.
So much evidence. Fire and life is... Addison has life insurance. What the fuck? We can notify next of kin. face okay what have you got on the victim from all reports he was intoxicated at the time of the accident i'll know how intoxicated once i've done the autopsy looking him over now i'd say he died on impact what about the chest wound? isn't that inconsistent very common in auto injuries look for a car with a prominent foot ornament those things are killers Ugh. Gross. Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. Well, I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. She told me. Um. Oh. Body traveled a good twenty feet. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Um, B, C. That's D. Out of my way. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. Okay. Well, that's actually why I wanted to check something. Options, gameplay. Music will play continuously while investigation. What's auto? Music will play continuously while investigating a location. Music will only fade when. Uh, that's why I kept hearing music, even though I found all the clues. Um, yeah, let's put that shit on auto. Chimes. Oh, well, I'm not playing with a controller. Magnifying glass. Ugh, yuck. Keep that on. Action. Um, okay. Okay. So now I should not hear music anymore once I find all the clues in a location. Oops. It's all yours, detective. Who's all mine? Who are you talking about? Actually, who's talking to me? Walked right in, right into me. Oops. Oh, 
Uh, can I talk to him? To the doc? Oh, I already talked to the doctor, right? Um. Is that too far? That's too far. Splish. Oh. A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. I actually wanted to look in this garbage can, but... Oh, I guess... Okay. Maybe somebody slaughtered another pig. Like Mr. Adrian Black. Who are you? Talk to me. Oh, wait. I have a report oh, no. I need to get finished for the grand jury, so if you don't mind. So if you don't mind. Mind what? Where are you going? The grand jury's not over there. Oh, what did you put down? Oh, that was for the knife. Oh. Why, thank you a lot. Okay, Missy. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Hit and run, insurance letter, the wallet. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Oh. Okay. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. She is just a truth machine. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Oh, so close. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things look pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. <laughs> you certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Oh, a newspaper. Turn around, stupid. Courtney! Come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. 
I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. 